Hey everybody, happy Monday. It's me, Kelly, and I hope you all had a great weekend and you have a great week ahead of you. The weather here is very, very humid, but it's going to rain. It was supposed to rain yesterday too. Um, it was cloudy and yucky then and still hasn't done anything. So today um, I got a lot of, uh, you guys are awesome. I got so many messages on YouTube about my goth girl painting. I'm just about done with her. I'm just finishing up a few things. I changed a few things, so I'm very excited. Um, and so you guys have written me the most awesome, awesome, awesome letters. Um, and I thank you guys so much. You guys are so supportive, and I am just thrilled beyond belief. Today I'm going to do a, um, we did a folk art face, so today I'm going to do a more realistic face, um, the basic of it. Um, as always, I like to teach you guys the basic of how to do a realistic face, and then you guys take it from there. If you copy what I do, so be it. I don't care. Um, I'm just trying to show you um, the basic on how to do it, because a lot of people find it very, very hard, and it really, um, the first few that you do, you know, you might look at it and think, what the heck is this? But the more you do it, I'm going to tell you the better you get. So sit down and every day do this face. And I bet you by Saturday, when you look at your drawing on Saturday and your drawing that you started today or whenever, um, you will see an improvement and a difference. So I'm going to show you a few things because um, <laughs> there's been some speculation and some talk from people, because everybody has a big mouth, um, on people stealing people's um, drawing techniques, arts, and everything like that. And there have been a lot that I have seen um, that I have stole. I, I don't know if we can even say stole, because the mixed media community, um, the art community itself, um, lends itself to people you know, copying other people's work, um, and that kind of thing. Um, I, I have, the reason I have these books here is I have about 12 of these different drawing books and I've had them for years and years and years. As a matter of fact, this is from Borders. I got it in the, uh, discount section for $5.99. I must've got this uh, 10 years ago. Okay. Um, and I have drawing, how to draw and paint, drawing and painting. Um, I have tons over sitting in the corner there that I have always used as my um, go-to. And so this, I wanted to show a couple of these because um, I want to show that what I do is authentic and what I do is my own thing. Now, one of my first classes I ever took years and years ago um, was Susie Blue's class, uh, petite, the petite girls, um, or what have you. And I took it because I, I am a visual learner and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. Um, you know, I can look at these books, I can copy, but I like to see what other people do. Now I've done a goddess and it's actually the picture on my, um, YouTube video that I learned in Susie's class. And although it, it doesn't look exactly like Susie's, it resembles what Susie did because I took it from her class. Um, that's how I learned more on um, playing with my uh, drawings. Do you know what I mean? Um, she has a very unique way of uh, you know, doing, she's doing a, um, like a circus carnival kind of theme, uh, class coming up and like, she's very creative and she does all these wonderful things. Um, so I have to give her props for that because taking her class, um, which was a whimsical face type class, um, helped me a lot find my own style. Um, and I think that's what teachers do. Um, it's hard to, say, oh, so-and-so stole my idea, so-and-so stole my idea. I don't mind. I don't care if, not that I have anything that anybody would want to steal, but I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I do my own thing. I've sold um, and done so many commissions um, that, you know, I'm very blessed that way. But if somebody wants something that, you know, that somebody else did and, 
it resembles mine, I'm not going to sit and uh, get pissed off about it. So, but I wanted to show you, this is where I get my basic um, drawing information from. I'm going to pass it on to you in case you don't have drawing books, can't afford drawing books. And then what you do with it is your choice. Um, you can do like I do, print it out and copy it uh, when I'm done, or you can practice like I'm going to show you. Um, and, you know, go from there. Now I'm done talking and I wasted five minutes and I'm really sorry, but I'd rather do two videos than um, and show you a few things that, that work for me than to, um, you know, I, I don't want to get any emails or anything saying I'm doing somebody else's gig because I don't do that and I do my own stuff. And I am inspired by other people, and I might pull some of that inspiration into my work. Um, but I've been around since early 2000s and been drawing and sewing and knitting and making jewelry even earlier than that. Um, since my kids were little, 19, gosh, 95, 96. So um, I've been around for a long, long time. Um, and I'm just about having fun and doing my own thing. So let's start here. This is what I'm going to show you today, and I marked it in my book. And this is how I do my faces. This is how I learned to do my faces out of this book. I have it marked. I have it, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, what I do is I do the lines, and I did it with my whimsical face too, and then I go on and draw my face. Now, men's face are obviously different than women's face. Um, and I, when I'm doing the face, I'll explain what you can do to make it more of a man's face. But I'm just going to give you the basics. And, um, you know, what you do from there is on you. Um, you know, maybe coming up, I'll show you how I do the profiles and, and different things. I, I do them all. I love them. Um, I don't happen to do them. I love three quarter views. I have, I should have brought my, my drawing down that I have upstairs that I'm, that's the next thing I'm going to paint, um, that I drew, but I love three quarter, uh, too. So I might do one of them too. So, I mean, this book is so helpful, um, in so many ways. I know it's hard for y'all to see because I'm spaz, but, um, I mean, it, it shows you so many wonderful things and I can just sit and look through these books forever. Ever, ever, ever. It shows you bodies and hands and naked people. And, you know, not that any of these naked people are really up my alley. This is another book um, that I love. I have some things marked in here. Let's see. Like, for instance, here, um, I have marked. And I should have thought about I, I've been doing so many projects and my desk is a mess and you would think that I would clean it but I don't um so here you know it just shows you like the different ways to map out so you get these different looks and again I have this marked I have I know I have a few things I have this marked which I thought is delicious because he's looking down and it's you know it's pencil I have a friend pixie um allen and um, she does wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, pencil sketches. And if I remember, I'm going to try to remember. I'm going to put her link down. Um, I don't know if she has them on her one site or not. Um, but she does these. She's done pink and Jesse J. And um, she just is really good at them. And um, I envy her because I can draw. I just can't do all the shading and stuff. And she does it. So, I mean, look at the hair. This is what I strive for in life. But it shows you how to do it. And I look through these books constantly. I look through these books. And like I said, I could pull probably another four out really quickly, which I won't, um, to show you. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to show you my general way of doing it. I'm going to quit blabbing your ear off because apparently I like to do that. Now, this is the greatest tool ever made. Okay. If you don't have money, which I know a lot of us are tight on money, I'm on SSI disability. I don't get much at all. So um, I dig it. Um, AC Moore Michael sells these, okay? They're five bucks. Use your coupon. This week at AC Moore, it's 50% off coupon all week. And Michael's is obviously it's a 40% off. Um, 
go buy one of these. These will say, I mean, when you draw, this will save your life. It's awesome. I just was um, dumbfounded, gobsmacked, whatever word I want to say, about fell off my chair. Um, and I hope nobody gets, um, you know, feels disrespected when I say this, but I was watching a video and I'm watching, you know, them do a background and do all that. You know, I have my videos that I sub to and I like to watch and get inspired and everything. And they pull out stamps of eyes, about three or four different sets of eyes, a few noses, some lips. And after they drew their round face, they stamped the eyes in and the nose and the lips or whatever. And I about fell off my chair because I thought, I sit here and struggle. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys today and it's going to take me, you know, I'm going to have to do it way quicker than I normally would. So it's not going to be perfection, but it's going to show you how to do it. Um, it takes me a while to draw a face. To see somebody draw an oval and then stamp in the eyes and the nose and the mouth, I about peed myself because I mean, I think it's great. Look, if, if you can't draw a face and you can't draw eyes and you try and you try and try and you're frustrated, I have RA and fibro amongst other things. So sometimes drawing is really, really hard. It, it, it's, you know what I mean? Like it's like a fight. So I can't do it every day. And yeah, you know what? I'd love to stamp in eyes, nose, and the mouth and make a beautiful face and, and sell them like that. But I, I, maybe in my art journal, I would do that when I'm playing, but I use my art journal also as practice. So um, anyway, I, I know I, I'm, I'm talking too much. And hey, for those who do it and stamp the eyes and the nose and, the, and whatever, or are doing these um, cutting out of magazines, the silhouette of people, and um, they put them, put do a background and then they put the uh, silhouette down and spray around it or paint around it so it's clear on the inside and you have like this body shape and all. I mean, that's not my gig. Um, I think if, you know, if you do it and it works for you, you know, more power to you. I'm somebody who is like hands on. I want to know how to do it. I will try it 3 million times and, um, until I get it right. And, um, easy way out isn't always the best for me. Although sometimes I wish I could take the easy way out, but that's just not me. Um, but for those who do and it works for you, Hey, more power to you. You know what I mean? I, I'm cool. You know, we're all cool. So let's start real quick so I can maybe make this under. <laughs> and I don't uh, do it too long. So again, this thing is fantastic. Okay. And it's for the eyes and everything like that. If you don't have this, use, like I said before, anything that you have straight edge. Um, you know, your ruler, your... Uh, you know, we all have, you can go to the dollar store and get a ruler, you know, wooden ruler, whatever you have, um, a box, you know, whatever. So we're going to start and we're going to do our straight line and I'm going to do it as straight as I can, um, in the time I have and not worry too much about. So that's going to be my line for my eyes. I'm going to come down. Mm. Let's see what we'll do here. Two inches, about two inches. And I'm doing it a little bit large, like a little bit wider than usual because I want you to really see. And then I'm going to go down about an inch. Because I want you guys, this is going to be a little bit exaggerated because I want you guys to see what we got going on. And then I always do a half, you know, like approximately half. If you want to be very accurate, measure how wide your paper is, use the right side of the ruler. That would help. It's about seven and a quarter. So we'll probably I'll probably do it just right here since we're going to go fast. And then we'll just pretend like this side doesn't exist. So we'll just do a light line down there so I know not where you know where not to go. And if it bothers you, take your scissors and cut down the line. Like I said, mine isn't exactly perfectly straight right now, but it's not really the point. But then you'll see, because you can see down here it's a little wider, but I'm not concerned because we're not going down now. 
So here we are. So we're going to do our eyes here. Now you usually do approximately the eye width as you know as a um, and and some of these have which this one doesn't but some of these do have rulers on them so you can get that you know also when you look for the green thing um, if you are going to look for the green thing and you can see um, you know if they have the rulers on them then you have every everything in one piece but let's say we're going to do like this let's put this on the two line let's see I'm going to try to get down as close as I can okay I'm going to put this on the two mark and here's my one mark so I'm going to go a half inch this way and a half inch this way then I'm going to go so that's my middle eye so if we measure that that's approximately an inch so then we're going to go an inch over this way and an inch over the other way. Take my ruler. Go to my inch and I'm going to just do a little mark right there so I know. And then take it here, do a little mark and then do my inch right there. So we have, you see what we have here? We have our middle mark, which we'll erase, and then this is going to be our eyes. Now, if I would, when you do this, make sure that you do this so it's even with the other eye, like with this line. So you see how I have this line? This line over here obviously isn't as even as this. So I'll take it, I'll make it, and I'm not very good at straightening things, at being straight. So I'm going to kind of bring it down just a little bit and then take my eraser. I love using mechanical pencils. I'm such a freak. I draw with mechanical pencils normally. I don't draw with my regular <laughs> pencils. So I'll just mark it. Kind of on the same, just so we're kind of on the same level there. Okay. So we have our eyes. So what I normally first do is I'll take over and I'm just going to do, and like I said, I'm doing a little bit larger so we can, so you guys can really see. And then I'm going to do the same over here. Now, again, for your first time starting out, don't worry about it. But um, I usually go in if I'm doing a painting to sell or a commission or whatever, and I make sure that the eyes are generally the same height right here, which you can always play with, and they're okay. And, you know, generally the same, which is what you want. Um, but for this, don't worry about it, you know, because you're just learning. Once you do your first face, um, then you'll know. To go when you go back, you'll be like, okay, now I'm gonna uh, tighten it up a little bit and, and that kind of thing. And then I just take from you know, you start at your corner and you just bring it down and bring it up to that corner and do it. Make sure you do it corner to corner. Okay. And you can see the eyes aren't, you know, this one's a little bit more out there but that's when you go in with your eraser and you shade and and you do all that kind of thing okay so we're going to work with the eyes first now what i do let me use my regular pencil is i then go in right here on this corner and i just kind of follow that eye shape up there and i'm going to do the same and i can see right now that the one eye is way bigger than the other eye. You can see this is much longer. Now, if you're a spaz like I am, I'm gonna take this off just a little bit. And kind of bring it down. And that's only because it bothers me, but you don't have to, like I said, for your first time, it really doesn't matter. And then 
I'm going to put my eyes in. Again, we have two eyes right now. You know what I mean? These we can play with later. You can see this one's up higher than the other. So we can go back and erase this. You do erase a lot. Don't think that you don't erase a lot because you do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick what I want from my inside eyes, how big I want my eye, my eyeball, and I think that one looks good. So I'm going to kind of put it up again. I'm not going to go over. I'm going to just go from where my eyelid ends. And I just broke my blood because I had too much out. But hey, why would it be any other way? Okay, and you see how we have that eye? And now let's go over to this one. Remember the one you used because I just forgot. Okay, so I do that all the time. So if you do it, don't worry about it. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Now they have little lines up here so you can kind of tell where you're going. But I, it, it, sometimes I still mess it up. So we have our eyes. Now we want our little, we could take our lines out the middle. You could take your middle line out. You can go back in and just follow that circle to fill it in. And then pick a smaller one for the pupil and put it in the middle. And kind of do the same thing where it's kind of like a moon shape. Like that, you can make it like that, or you can make it a little bit bigger and do it in the middle of the eye. So it's whatever you want. And I'm gonna keep mine in the middle of the eye. And I'm gonna do it over here. Okay. And like I said, this right here, I'm not really digging, so I'll go in, make it a little bit higher. You could take this to measure if it's the same, you know, height as this. You know, this can go up a little bit higher if you want it. Not no big deal. So we're going to fix our eye. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to do a second video. So you guys aren't, if you don't have all the time in the world, you don't have to watch an hour video of me drawing. And you can sit and do part one and do the eyes. Okay. Now for me, the eyes on the bottom, what I would probably do is I would erase this. I'm going to show you this real quick and then we'll. And I think uh, that's a little bit, you know, down too far for me. So, I mean, you can do your little hoodie over there for your eye. And then just bring it up just a little bit closer to the eyeball. I'm just going to darken these up. So right here, we have our eyeballs. Now you can see, because it's taking me a little bit longer, right here is a little bit different than over here. So you can go in if you want. You know, if you see those little things, and you can bring it up a little bit closer so it's more. 
you know, but nobody's eyes are perfect and nobody's eyes, you know, are exactly, exactly the same, but you get the idea. So that's our first video for the eyes. And when we come back, um, in my next video, we're going to work on the nose and the mouth. So, and that one, I won't talk as long in that one. So I'll see you then. And I hope you guys practice this and try it. And, um, I'll see you in video number two. Thanks guys.